word for memory tool. Mnemonics are techniques for remembering information that is otherwise quite difficult to recall. The word mnemonics has its origins in ancient Greek mythology. A goddess named Mnemosyne was one of the most powerful goddess of her time because she was the goddess of memory. Just try to imagine life without memory, particularly back in the day when all stories and events survive only through oral transmission. And you'll begin to understand Mnemosyne's great gift and importance to the world. Together with Zeus, the ruler of the Titan world, they had nine children, the Muses of the Arts. These Muses inspired creativity in many artistic areas, including comedy, dance, and poetry. People wonder whether creative people summon their own creative thoughts or if their source of creativity is from one of the children of Mnemosyne. But in any case, one thing is for sure. Without memory, there'd be no art. All art is imitated from something in real life, and we cannot remember something from real life unless we've seen it, memorized it, and then reproduced it. In August 2017, I was selected to be a contestant on an NBC show called Genius Junior. The ability to memorize was essential for success. Two of my many challenges were to memorize all the stops on the London Underground Tube and to memorize the blueprint of all the different rooms on the RMS Titanic. Without mnemonics, I would have been sunk, pun intended. <laughs> For example, I had to know from the chef's office port side, traveling towards the front of the ship, the next room I would pass would be the first class pantry scullery. Then, I had to trace the same route backwards, learning the twists and turns of both the London Tube and the Titanic strengthens the brain's ability to navigate the path of the neurons and transmitters in the brain as themselves twist and turn. And learning the topography of complicated physical systems, both backwards and forwards, I learned firsthand that what the researchers say is true. The brain is dynamic not static, and then exercising its capacity for memory will strengthen one's ability to learn and retain information. As a student, I regularly exercise my brain's capacity for memory. As a third grader, I mastered the multiplication tables necessary for success in higher mathematics. And as a fourth grader, I will be required to memorize the capitals of all 50 states. But more importantly, an adult with great memory skills, who I will be one day, has the capacity to give art to the world. Whether we have the goddess Mnemosyne to thank for our creative talents, or whether creativity comes from our own inner thoughts, it is memory of all things seen or heard that is the catalyst for all art on Earth. By the way, I use mnemonics to spell challenging words, both backwards and forwards. Here is one of my all-time favorites. Epu, Olatnak. Cantaloupe backwards, of course. Thank you very much. <laughs>